when you're ready. Okay. Hi, Maggie here in front of the camera. And Kay is behind the camera. Hello, we're just going to talk about our um, decorative photo corner die sets. Now we've brought three out at the moment and when you get them, this one, the first one is the stitched photo corners and you actually get four of each size and the smaller ones are this sort of size. This is actually the decorative one, that's a stitched one. So they, they're designed to, remember the old fashioned photo corners you used to buy for when you wanted to put your photos yes. in your albums? Exactly the same concept as that. They fold over, you can put a stick there, pop them on your pages or you can line them up and have them separately and then slot your photos in as you want to. Can you see that okay? Yes, a bit, bit far up. That better? Yeah, that's, it, that's better. Yeah. So you can take them off, slot your photo in there like that. So that's a smaller size. Then we've got a larger size and if you look here there's a fold line, there's two fold lines okay this is the larger one and you'll see the reason for the fold lines is so it goes on the edge of the grey board and that is the same for all three designs we have so that's the stitched one that's the decorative edge one and that's the debossed edge one there. Okay, so they're very easy to use. I like the um, wider ones for the grey board. I like to die cut them out of Architect, which is here like this. Mm -hmm. And then you can just... Cuts really nicely as well. Cuts beautifully, yeah, okay. So you've got your grey board. Find your corner that lines up, get your first fold line on there. Oh, on hold on there. a second, okay. I'll do it just. Yeah, can you see? You can see I've got the fold lines lined yeah. up then with the edges. Okay. Okay, and then it's very simple, just do it with your hand to start with. That way and that way. Now, it, if you've made a mistake with your covering with your card, it won't cover the exact corner because they're not designed to do that because you'd have a pointy bit sticking out. But um, it's designed to provide protection on the end and usually that is already covered. Um, so it's just like to give a nice finish that way. Don't like that. I so I suppose you've got to burnish it, haven't you? You have got to burnish it. Just like so I mentioned in Burnish it, actually burnish it sideways like that and like that and then like that and like that but it really protects your because that's the bit that gets the bashing and it really protects it beautifully so that's that one so the smaller ones these are decorative edge so you've folded those and you will find as well that actually if you cut cut the flaps off the smaller ones or even if you don't cut the flaps off they mat perfectly on the larger ones so you get another effect on top that's cool that was Paul Ford discovered that. Thank you, Paul. <laughs> okay, so this time you want to stick these on here. So I'm actually going to stick mine onto my photo. So I'll just pop a little bit of glue here. And these are really nice actually on the base of tags. Oh right, yeah. As well, it just gives it a nice, nice finish. So just work your way around. Once it's stuck, I'm then going to burnish. Before Kay says anything. I wasn't going to say anything to me. <laughs> hadn't occurred to me. It might have done, but it hadn't. And then it'll be time for a cup of tea. Ooh, that'll be nice. Pop that one on there. Oh, I've not folded that one. I've followed the fold line. Okay. There is a guideline fold line for you as well on all of them. I've done that wonky, so I'm going to have to do that one again. Slot that one in there. And then... The nice thing about this is you can have your photographs any size you want. Though, can't yes, you? you can. And you know, if you have really huge photos, you can use the larger ones for your card as well. Just fold it down a bit more. But I think anything that just helps to finish off your pages 
Right, and that one is wonky, that's driving me mad. I've probably stuck it down too much now. That's better. Okay, and then you would So that's like that. If you wanted to put them as um, as an element in your pages, you, you'd you stick that bit down to your page. So that would then be loose so you could slide inside. So you'd fold that there, that there. Those would be the bits that you would fix onto your page so that you could then come in at another time and slide in your photos as you wanted.